growing up cooking in the same kitchen with my grandmother. I have pictures of me as a, a five-year-old child seasoning a turkey. She would kick everybody out of the kitchen but me. It was the time that she took to teach me why, to teach me why we season it, to teach me why we truss it, to teach me why we roast it at such a, a temperature. I used to always say, I can't, I can't do it. And she would always tell me, you can. She's taught me a lot. She, she's encouraged me for a long time. The Specialist High Skills major program offered me a lot of opportunities in high school to express myself and to show the skills that I wanted to build on. The hospitality and tourism program allows students to explore the different areas of, of the, the industry. A lot of it is focused on culinary, but anything that has to do with customer service, attractions to accommodations, anything where you're interacting with the public and developing excellent customer service skills. And those skills are quite transferable regardless of what they want to get into. I'm going to university for biomedical science, but this program has helped me. I'm gonna know how to cook and I don't need to eat out all the time as much as other students would have to. It's the best course you could ever take. You will learn professional knife skills. You'll learn how to work in a professional kitchen. You'll be able to cook for yourself. You'll be able to cook gourmet meals for other people. When I was in grade 11, I had the opportunity to take uh, one of the first programs, which was exciting because that involved us going to post-secondary level college where we worked hands-on and one-on-one -on -one with chef instructors. We've worked with college professors and we've had people come in from the Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program and you just learn so much from so many different people. That opportunity for us as high school students was amazing because it took us out of your traditional high school setting to be in high school and, and to work with your teacher is one thing, but when you go into that environment and you see these chefs with their tall hats and their white coats and everything is proper, that can be very inspiring. You almost have to take it seriously. Dan went off to university, got his degree, and at the same time became a Red Seal chef. And so I used that as my ticket to see the world. I started off in Muskoka, and then I was offered a contract to go down to the Caribbean to work as a, a sous chef, cooking fresh seafood and adjusting and living in a new different type of culture. And after much reflection and much industry experience uh, and time spent in the kitchen, I decided that now it's my turn to give back to the next generation. It's been a real delight to watch Dan apply his, his knowledge and his love of food and his ability to work with young people and to see him over the last couple of years off at Teachers College and he'll be outstanding in, in this role. To show them why certain processes happen and why we do things in a certain way. The certifications that they get, the CPR training, food safety training, the service excellence, the smart serve. We do different events. We did a, a bar barbecue last month for 140 people. So we have lots of planning, we have lots of preparing, we have lots of different roles for people in, in those types of things. So we really play with that creativity, giving them the right direction to that end product where they say, hey, look, I made this. A lot of problem solving is in the culinary world. Being able to think quickly on your feet, being disciplined, keeping your own workspace very neat and tidy. We are creating, we are, are, are cooking, we are chopping, we are exploring, and we are doing different things with our hands. You get to see things that you might not have ever seen before. You get to taste things that you may have never tasted before. So that they walk out of that class every day curious. I wasn't planning whatsoever to go to, into culinary. It made me confident, it made me love cooking. So it really helped me. I'm very lucky in a way where somebody early on saw the opportunity in me to succeed and I chased that. It's an opportunity that I'll never forget and what it did for me is solidify that there was a career in this, that I could chase my dreams and continue professionally to do what I grew up and, and loved to do in the first place.